Hi, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to take a picture like this one. Sorry, not that picture. This one. Isn't that cool? Well, I'm going to show you how to take both those pictures, but the pictures that I just showed you is the one I'm going to show you in the first tutorial, which is this one. Uh, so, basically, I have this orange and I thought it looked pretty nice with the leaves so um, I thought I'd do a little bit of light painting that's the technique I'm going to use to take this the picture that I just showed you now light painting is pretty cool and it's one of my favorite techniques so just bear with me while I show you how to do exactly that alright so I'm just gonna quickly show you my setup that's the orange I'm using a black jumper as a base now I would recommend using a chart paper or, but I wouldn't recommend using glass because you're going to be shining light directly on the orange and it might reflect. Now, if you want reflections, that re that's pretty good, then go with glass. And I would also recommend actually using a black background of some sort, say a black piece of cloth or a black blanket or something like that. But since I don't have any, that is why I have actually positioned this orange pretty far from my wall. So that should give me a pretty black background. Now I'm going to show you my camera. I'm using a Canon SX50. This is not a DSLR, and uh, which is one reason I'm doing this tutorial, tutorial to show you that you don't really need a DSLR to take awesome pictures. So I'm on manual mode, and um, so I'm just going to lock my focus in by pressing down the shutter button halfway down, and hitting manual focus okay now I'm going to use a shutter speed of um, 15 seconds and an aperture of 8 now, I wish I could raise my f-stop and lower the aperture but unfortunately I can't, can't. Um, so I'm using that now my white balance I'm using the flash as my white balance because I want a warm picture I wouldn't go with anything else. I, you could use daylight, but then you wouldn't get as warm a picture as you would get with uh, flash. As your white balance. Uh, that's about that. Um, uh, the one problem with the SX50 is that you can't really uh, raise your ISO. See, it says ISO speed is limited due to slow shutter speed. So once you cross shutter speeds of one second, it doesn't let you raise your ISO, which is pretty good. But uh, for night photography this isn't the best setting anyway I'll uh, get my torches out and show you those as well alright this is the box where I keep all my torches which I use for light painting now I have a mini mag light which is the one that I usually use but I'm not going to use it with this one because it's going to be a little too bright for this so I'm going to use this lighter um, I'm not going to use the flame I'm going to use the other side of the lighter which has this LED which is pretty cool and it should give me the required amount of light which is why I'm using 15 seconds and nothing um, faster than that alright so now uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do alright so I've shown you my setup and I've also told you what my settings are uh, let's go over those one more time I'm using an ISO of 80 shutter speed of 15 seconds and aperture of 8 uh, my white balance is set to flash so that's the boring part let's get into the interesting part of actually light painting the orange alright now my camera is right here and the orange is over there one thing I forgot to mention is that you should use a self timer or a shutter release cable since I don't have a shutter release cable I'm using a self timer which is my best option right now I've got a timer of two seconds which should give me enough time to get my lighter ready so I set my it's time to take the shot. So I'm moving the torch, or well, it's the lighter actually, moving it around and uh, so I like paint it properly. Yeah, that's about right. Yep, that should do. Okay, so the first attempt wasn't really good. So this is my second attempt. I have um, opened up the aperture. I'm using an f-stop of 5. Uh, the rest of the settings remain the same. That is 15 seconds as my shutter speed and my ISO remains at 80 because I can't change it on the SX50. So that's, this is the second attempt. So 
Let's see how that turns out. Alright, well the second attempt wasn't really good. I mean, it was better, much better than the first, but there's still room for improvement. As you can see on the left side, uh, there is, well, shadows on the left side. So we're gonna try and fill in those shadows this time. So I'm using the same settings. I haven't changed anything at all. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this time I'm going to first light paint that side and now I'm going to light paint this side as well. I missed a spot in the previous picture. So, well, let's do this properly. Yep, that's it. Right, thank you for putting up with all my fails and uh, all my antiques. It was pretty boring, but uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any suggestions, and uh, I can make my tutorials better and easier to understand, please leave a comment and I will work on it. Uh, so if you like these tutorials, uh, subscribe and share, of course. Of course, I would love if you could give me some suggestions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.